everyone, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you my planner setup for April. I apologize that this is mid-month instead of the beginning of the month. Um, I was on track and then all of this, uh, the crazy COVID craziness <laughs> began and uh, suddenly had to start doing a lot more at the shop because um, we had a lot of our employees that uh, were staying home. So um, I wanted to, I did want to try and make sure that I did get it up this month though, because it, it was such a fun, um, bright, happy kit and we can all use a little bit of that right now. So I'm hoping that you still have a little bit of time to enjoy this and get some ideas from it. And this month I am using uh, my Webster's pages, and I don't know what this particular planner is called, but I thought that it was it was so cute with the little face and the flowers and the bright colors. I thought it went really well with our hot air um, balloon theme. And a little bit about this theme, I wanted to do something with some rainbows and some bright colors and um, some clouds, but I didn't want to do the traditional just umbrellas and rain. I wanted to throw in a little something else in there that could be really uh, colorful as well. And so that's where the idea of the, the hot air balloons came into play. And Jamie, who helps design all of uh, the product for our planner kits, um, colored these in just beautiful and they turned out really, really pretty. So that is a little bit of the um, idea behind the theme and how that kind of started and then I'll talk a little bit about a couple of things that kind of happened along the way that were that were kind of a fun um, as I was putting everything together and curating the kits some fun little things that came along because of it so like I said this is a Webster's pages and I actually have the the um, the traveler's notebook cover as well to match so because that's just too cute so my pockets, I had some, um, there was a, a couple of fun things that I had left over from one of our previous kits, like the little uh, felt clouds with the raindrops. And I had a button, I had a bow, a little um, butterfly there, and then I made a couple of tags. And the embroidery patch here, and this is, has adhesive on the back, this was part of the main planner kit, and that came with a, um, a pen loop as well. But this uh, particular planner has two pen loops, so I didn't need to use it in uh, this particular one. But I did, I did want to use the little hot air balloon patch because that turned out really cute. Add a little bow, a couple of die cuts, and then uh, one of the note cards. That was from the pocket memory keeping kit. And then I just tucked in some of... Um, some of the sticker sheets. And then I'm just gonna quick, this is just gonna be a short one. Um, a little tight on time this month, but I did I did wanna, like I said, I did wanna show it to you. So I'm just, and also, because when I try and show you this, I, I leave everything, um, I try to leave everything blank so that you don't uh, get distracted by all of my really bad handwriting and chicken scratch. So, Part of the issue is I, I want to use some of these pages, so I, I wanted to make sure I get this video up too so that I can actually start to use some of the pages that I have left blank. So again, this is April. You don't need wings to fly. Dreams are all you need. I think that we had some beautiful quotes and ironically some timely quotes that you find in here for, um, for what is going on right now in April in the world. There's a lovely little overlay with the hot air balloons, and that was from the uh, classified memory keeping kit. And I use that to divide my uh, weekly stripe pages. And what I use these for is um, a, usually a brain dump so that I can kind of plan out my week. I can just kind of write in what I'm thinking, where I want to work on this or that, and kind of get a visual of my week and the times the days that are full, the days that I can fit other things. So these work really well for just kind of a quick overall week view for me. And I don't, I don't worry about like being real precise. It's just almost like kind of a, a weekly brain dump of, of all the things that I'm trying to fit in for that week. And what I did, I stamped um, the dates on there and then I stamped, um, I went through my stash. And if you look back on my Instagram, 
you'll see I posted a couple of um, different tips on stamping with some of these older stamps that I found from my stash. Uh, so there's a couple of fun techniques, so go back on my Instagram feed and, and look for those. They were just a couple of fun little tips. But I just, I found these in my stash. These are from some um, older um, Coco Daisy kits. So I just added a little bit of stamping on each page, some raindrops, sometimes you're the umbrella, sometimes you're the rain, some of these fun little sayings. On the back of each of these kind of weekly brain dump pages, I list um, what I'm going to do for my menu. So I'll stamp out the days of the week, or you can use uh, some of the days of the week stickers here as well. And then I just use a sheet um, from the notepad. That's going to be my grocery list. And I know on one of the sticker sheets it says uh, groceries or menu plan. You could even put that on uh, the little notepad sheet as well. So and then I have one, You Are My Sunshine, and a couple little hearts. And you can see where I, I was like, I need to use this. <laughs> so, You Make Me Happy When Skies Are Gray. Some more raindrops. So that's what I do with those pages. And I find it very, very helpful um, to be able to put that down and, and get a quick like, overview of, um, usually Sunday night is when I sit and I, I do that kind of planning. This pretty silver foil raindrop uh, vellum. This was also in the classified planner add-on. And then these are the week on two pages. And what I did with these, um, I added a little bit of stamping again. I had fun with this sticky note pad that was this cloud shape. They're, they were so fun to use. I mean, obviously you can use them to write on as sticky notes, which I, I've been doing, but they're also just kind of a fun decorative element. So I added a few of those with some raindrops, a few little stickers, and then you'll see um, through, I used a ton of these. So one of the things that I wanted to mention that we do quite often are the pretty glitter enamel dots. And I knew I wanted to do that for this month, but I didn't, I thought it would be a real fun twist to make them look like raindrops. And I've, I've just used them on everything. So you'll see as I go through um, the different places that I've used them, but they're just so fun. So the little glitter raindrops. And um, I'll give you a little hint coming up this summer, we have another shape that we're gonna do these in. Cause frankly, I, I can't get enough of these. They're just such a, a great low profile little, um, accent. It, it's subtle, but there's so many different ways that you can use them. And I love that little bit of shine that they add to um, your planner or your memory keeping. So one of the things that I did with these is I actually sandwiched a couple of them and created little tabs for the uh, week on two spread pages. And what I usually uh, use these pages for is when I do my memory keeping, which I'm really behind on right now, like in my happy planner or my simple Dory, I will write down a few events from each of the day, each day on each day, sorry. And uh, just kind of so that I can go back when I do my journaling in those memory keeping projects and I can see what I wanted to journal about or if there was a particular photo that I wanted to include uh, for that day and I'll write that stuff down. And that is what I normally do on those pages. And again, you can see I used one of the sticky notes, um, some more stamping. And again, those cute little tabs for those. And this one, I think this is actually one of them that I used in one of my videos because I thought that it was, it was kind of cute to use um, the little sayings almost like those were raindrops as well. It was just kind of fun. So you can see that, some weekend stickers. And there are my week on two pages. And then a couple of the note cards. And again, you can see where I just used a couple of those little glittery raindrops and they're subtle, but they're, it's, it's really fun to have those added on there. I think it adds just a little bit of dimension. And the pretty little saying with the rainbow. Another one of the cards, and I actually outlined the word April here with a with a micron pen just to kind of make it pop a little bit. I, this is an older um, little flying bird stamp that I had that I colored in a little bit and put him on there. And the notes section I added in a couple of the kits we had these fun kind of glitter swirls, kind of a blue. 
And I added those in a few spots in here as well, just as a little bit of an accent. A couple of the flower die cuts. And then on my calendar page, you can see where I added a few of the little swirls um, underneath some of the, the balloon die cuts. And what I did is I raised them up on some foam adhesive, just to kind of give a little dimension and be able to put the, the glitter swirls behind them. Added a few, again, of those little uh, glitter raindrops a little bit of stamping and then um, we had an alpha two different um, we had an uppercase and a lowercase alpha set in the two memory keeping kits in the pocket and the traveler's notebook memory keeping kits and that's what I used here to um, to put stay at home and shipping and then again I used some of my older um, little cloud stamps and that on here and obviously we're all um, staying at home so there's not a lot going on on my calendar but that's okay it was still fun to decorate and it still is just nice to be able to look at the uh, the pretty happy colors it's it's soothing to me to be able to do that I did want to mention the fun bunting now that is something that we had in a couple of the kits and they came, they looked like this. So if you were kind of wondering what the Harlequin or Diamond stickers were all about, well, those are actually meant to do little buntings. And um, in the Traveler's Notebook and the memory keeping kit, the, tr um, the pocket memory keeping kit, you received some baker's twine and a sheet of these. And what's fun is that they can be folded over. So you would just peel them off like that, and I believe I did that in another one of my videos, I'll have to check. And you, you can, I, what I do is I score it first, and then you can fold it right over the uh, baker's twine, and you have your own little bunting. How fun is that? It's, it reminds me of the bunting that you see flying from the, from the hot air balloons. So that was a fun little technique, and I just kind of did that, and then I added that to my calendar page. And a few stickers on this side. This was a, uh, a polka dot overlay that I had for my stash. And then here's another example of using those glitter dots in a really subtle way, but I think it, it really adds something. So I had, I used, so let me back up for a minute. When you receive your pages, you'll get them where the one side will have, will look like this. So it will start with this side of the page. Well, if when you start your dailies, if you don't want just that random page um, starting, you can cover it, which is what I do. So I cover it with some pattern paper. I added one of the really pretty um, pocket cards, and I raised that up with just a little bit of foam adhesive, and then I added just a couple of those glitter dots, or uh, glitter raindrops, and I just, I love how that turned out. I don't know if you can, I turn it a little bit, if you can see them on there. They're really pretty. Actually, let me kind of bring that up. There they are. So they're just subtle, but it's it's really, really a pretty effect. So that is that. And we're getting through the month, so I have a bunch of filled up pages. I have a little to-do um, page that I have here, and then I, I clip on a few of my uh, notepad sheets so that I have those handy. And then this is from I wanted to talk a little bit about the printables. So we had um, our regular free printables, and they're just beautiful. There's so many fun things that you can cut out of them to put on. And then, of course, they have the, the pages as well. There's some patterns you can use on here. Look at all of the great stuff you could fussy cut out of these. I just kind of ran out of, out of time <laughs> to do a whole lot. These beautiful clouds that you could layer. And then even on the one page, there's um, a bookmark and some cards. So there's a lot of great stuff on those printables, and they're free to everyone. These you do not have to be a subscriber um, or you know sign up for anything. We have a newsletter one that we send out as well. These are just free to anyone if you go to the website. And then as a bonus, um, We've had these uh, free printables made up as well. So Leah created these for us, and these are just um, some, because so many things were canceled and rescheduled, uh, she created these for us to have in the shop, and these are also free. So just to help you with all of your plans, planning with everything that's going on, 
These are just a great freebie to use. All the, the canceled and rescheduled things. Um, so you can print those out as well. And then Jamie did these. Um, another great set of printables. So nice. And these again are free. And they're great for memory keeping or tucking in your planner. And they all have to do with, um, with the COVID and the virus and the, the crazy stuff that's going on. And, and this kind of will help you record things if you want to do a little journaling about um, kind of this huge event in our lives. So those are free on the website as well. So I wanted to mention that. And a lot of you know almost every month I do a fun big tag, which is what I did here. And I add a little bit of stamping, a few um, of the Amy Tangerine um, stickers, and then some more of the sticky notes. So these are where I can grab them if I need them. So it just kind of keeps them handy. So a little bit, I wanted to mention the, um, as I was putting this kit together, I just, I saw the rainbows and the bright colors. And I thought, you know, it just, it just says Amy Tan so, so much. So I contacted her and I asked her if she would be our guest designer for April. And she did, and she did a fabulous job. Check out her YouTube channel, check out her Instagram. She did some super fun things. And she also, um, created some exclusive sticker sets for us and, and some cards and some designs. We did a 12 by 12, an exclusive 12 by 12 uh, paper crafting or uh, memory keeping kit. And we haven't done one in a while and it was perfect um, having her having her work in that. She did a paper for us and uh, that was a lot of fun. And she's just done some great stuff for it. And she's just an absolute dear if you're unfamiliar with her please go check out her stuff because she's she's a special human being so check out her stuff and see what she's done and and um see what she's done with our stuff but also what she's doing with her own stuff because she's she's just fabulous and we love her so anyway that was um when i was doing this i just i had to i had to reach out to her because it just it, it just made me think of her and her her beautiful personality so I did, also I did a, um, a little um, a date card in here. I like to have this so I can look at the date. I added a couple of little cloud die cuts. And again, on this one, there's that those subtle little um, raindrops on there just for fun. I made a little pocket for my stickers and added a pocket um, card on there. And then I have my stickers in here. And these are a couple of the stickers that uh, are from Amy Tan. How fun are those? And this is one of the um, umbrellas. I die cut this from that free printable that I showed you. So that was a, a fun thing to add on there. So again, there's so many little things you could fussy cut. I don't remember if this one I cut out from the free printable or if that was a die cut. I don't remember. But I added that to, this is one of the, uh, the dashboards. So the dashboards we have, come in, when you when you get those, you get those in two sizes. They come in an A5 and a personal size. And I cut one of them down and made a bookmark out of it. I added a couple of the little, because again, those the cloud sticky notes just make cute little accent die cuts almost. So I added those on there with the little umbrella. And then another way to use, if you don't use all of your inserts, you know, the insert pages, if you don't use all of your daily pages, or all of your weekly um, stripe pages, always think of them uh, as artwork. You can always use them in another way. You can fussy cut pieces out, and um, you can even cut out some of the lists and, and flip them in with a Dory booklet. There's a lot of different ways that you can cut them up and use them if you have leftovers. And I just loved the colors of that stripe page. I thought that was so pretty. And so I used that on the back of my bookmark. I added some die cuts. Uh, before I added the die cuts, so I ran it through the printer and I added in my one little word uh, for the year, and which seems to kind of fit every occasion so far this year. So I've added those in there and I, I love how that turned out. It's real pretty layers and all those pretty bright colors. And then uh, using again, one of the free printable pages, I kind of list out my monthly to-dos added a die cut and then the cute little um, beaded charm on um, the little beaded clip that came in the main planner kit. I have that hanging on there. 
And one of our cards, my little prayer card that I laminated, just kind of some notes. And then these again are the dashboards. So you have the A5 size and then you have the, the personal size. And I don't remember what kit this die cut was from, the Oh Nuts, but I thought it was really kind of fitting for this month. And then the, the personal size dashboards, what I did is I just, I used them to kind of subdivide one of my sections. So these, um, some of them I put patterned paper on the back. Let's see, did I, yeah, I did that on all three. I just put patterned paper on the back of them. And then another dashboard, more patterned paper. Whatever makes your soul happy, do that. Isn't that beautiful? So again, I think this month is, I think something to remember that even if you aren't planning a lot, it's nice to have these this this planner, for me anyway, to, to look at and to go through and just have it brighten my day, even if I'm just writing down some gratitudes for the day or I'm thinking of projects that I want to do and I want to take notes for that. I think it's so important to continue to stay in the rhythm of using your planner and, and having that quiet time, those moments of reflection, and to use that and to just... Um, that sense of normalcy so that we're not stopping everything that we normally do. Even though you don't have a ton of scheduling things to write down, try and use those pages just to record even some thoughts for the day. I think it's important to stay in that schedule because you'll feel it just helps us feel normal, <laughs> which I think is so important right now. And when I look at the, the pretty art and the beautiful colors, it just it grounds me and it helps me start my day. So that's, that to me has been a wonderful gift each day. So another one of the dashboards and then the paper. And that is pretty much how my planner was set up. Pretty typical of how I usually set up my planner. I had um, a highlighter and then our pen for this month was so pretty. It has the same uh, rainbow stripes in it and of course the little daisy on top so that turned out really pretty it's our little pen and then a couple of things that i wanted to mention oh yes so the bunting so i had thought of the bunting stickers and twine and i thought okay that's a really fun dimensional um, embellishment that we can include and i was really excited about that and then it popped in my head that wouldn't it be fun if we could have that put on the pouch. So I sketched it out and I sent a picture of it to our manufacturer. I actually, I didn't sketch it out, let me rephrase that. I printed out pieces of pattern paper and I made one <laughs> and I sent it to our manufacturer. I'm like, can you do this? And they did and it turned out absolutely adorable. So it has the little string with the little, the little bunting and then the background is the clouds. And um, I know, I know we have a lot of pouches, but I just have to say it's hard for me to not think of fun ideas to add to the pouches every month. So it's kind of kind of my fault because I have fun making them. So that one turned out really, really cute. I was really excited about how pretty that turned out. And our washi tape. So we have the bunting, we have this fun rainbow stripe. And this right here, if you notice this design, actually mimics the design from the hot air balloon. And then we have a nice little dotted one. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention, this was something in the, I think it was in the classified kit, and I know it was also in the, um, in the 12 by 12 kit, in our 12 by 12 scrapbooking kit. So if, you, if you're not sure what this is, so these, ta these are tags, and then these are actually little ring reinforcers that you can use to decorate your tags with. So that's what those are for. So those are really fun. So that's what those are for if you were wondering what they were there to go with the tags to make the little ring reinforcers on those. And then um, last month I did this, and so I wanted to do it again this month, was just kind of some of the things from my stash, some of the inks and pens that 
I found the colors that worked well with April. I thought I would um, just kind of bring them out in case this is stuff that you have as well. And I have two Stamping Up pads. I have a Soft Sky and a Tempting Turquoise, and these both went really well with the kit. And then I had these great tri-blend pens that I've uh, shown you in a couple of videos. And these two went really well. And this is a True Blue Blend and the Ice Blue Blend. And they have a light, medium, and dark pen all together in here. And I didn't make up any examples, but it's really um, a fun, it, take, it creates an ombre effect and the blending is already done for you. So these are really fun. So I had those. And then Tombos. So I have a 401, a 528, and a 491. And all three of these looked nice with uh, the kit colors. And these, I believe, um, and I'll have to check with Lydia. I think she has them in the Daisy store. Um, I'll double check and make sure, but I believe these are in the Daisy store. I think we had a few that we ordered um, that you could purchase as well. So those were the little Tombos that matched the kit. So that is April. I hope all of you are safe and you're well and you're healthy. Um, thank you again. I posted this, but thank you all so much for your support and your patience while we worked hard with just a couple crew and my family. Um, we all worked to get May out and it's out and it's shipping and you should be getting those boxes. And um, I can't tell you from the bottom of my heart how much I appreciate um, the support and the love and everything that you all have given us. So please all be safe and I will talk to you soon.